Hey guys, Branshawn Brown here, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy. I spent the past two days talking about the importance of proper positions or hitting the proper positions, what's the main improper fault I see is, and also the importance of your feet to control your position. Now I want to talk about getting comfortable in that squat position, being able to maintain that position. So when you're in that bottom of the squat, most people want to get there and want to get right back out of it, um, which I get. It can be an uncomfortable position because we aren't used to that position. Most people, or majority of chairs that we sit in, most people sit a lot of the day, whether it be driving, whether it be a desk job, um, we're sitting a lot of the day. So from there, we're at 90 degrees with our hips. We don't really go much deeper than that on a regular basis. So it's not a comfortable position unless you start working on it. So we talked about using those feet yesterday to that con for that control, getting them screwed into the ground in order to keep those knees out and focusing on that foot control. So today we're gonna build on that in that squat position, focusing on those feet um, and being able to maintain that position with that good upright torso. So whether you are in a back squat, back rack position, whether you're in a front rack position, overhead squat position, um, or even just you're lifting a box at your house. You should still be able to maintain that position at the bottom and hold it there if you need to for any purpose. So what I mean is feet are in that same position. Nothing changes in that squat regardless of where that um, bar or that weight is. If you have it on your back, if you have it in front rack, if you have it overhead, everything from here stays the same. But what you need to focus on is being able to maintain this upright chest and being comfortable there. So if you're not used to this position, what happens a lot of times is you start bending forward because it's easier. When you're in this position, all these back muscles start working pretty hard. So what happens over time when you're maintaining that position is you start getting kind of some muscle cramps in this area here, just because your body's not used to maintaining this position. Uh, what can also happen in this position is you could get some kind of pinching in this area, or the other very common one is because people's ankles aren't used to that position, you start getting a lot of um, discomfort in either a pinch in the front of the ankle or a um, stretch in the back of the ankle just because that muscle gets tight. So what I suggest, um, ultimate goal is to be able to hang out there for five minutes. Um, that should be a very comfortable position for you to hang out in. So if it's not, start working your way up. Do 30 seconds at a time and um, throughout the day until you accumulate a total of five minutes. Over time, lengthen those times and do a less frequent. Long-term goal, you should be able to just hang out here, no problem. Have a conversation if you wanted to. A lot of times when I'm coaching, rather than kneeling on the ground this way, I'll be in that deep squat position just because for me it's comfortable now. So start working on that, start gaining that control in that position, being able to maintain that upright torso uh, the entire time. Um, the more you do that, the more comfortable you are there the better your squats will get, the better your Olympic lifts will get, um, and just your general function with any of your day-to-day -day lifting tasks that you may have to do. So if you have any comments on that or any questions, feel free to comment or feel free to post those below. I'd be happy to see what you have to say or answer any questions you have. So hope you guys had a fabulous day and I will check in with you guys again later. Bye guys.